Hey y'all, Rich Garner with Steam First here. I'd like to show you the basics of your very first Steam account. Uh, once you've got an account with Steam and you've logged in for the very first time, this is the first screen you'll see. It is the Steam Store. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up your profile so that other people in Steam can see who you are and, and what you like to play. Uh, you do that by going into your upper corner on the drop down, click on View Profile. And this is your profile. You'll have a uh, picture, uh, your username, uh, some contact information, and over here you're going to have your level and uh, a, a featured badge. Now levels and badges are just a way of showing off uh, your, your coolness, uh, and we can get into those in another time. But right now I'd like to show you the basics. As you go down, you've got your uh, showcase here. A showcase is basically the something that you want to show off to everyone that comes to your profile. This is the very first thing they're going to see after your initial contact information. Um, and you can change whatever this is. You can show off a favorite group, your games, your, your inventory, uh, it, practically anything. Uh, you go down from there and it shows your recent game activity, including any achievements you've made and any other content you've created for that game. Further down, you can have people uh, comment on your profile and, uh, and connect with you that way. On your far right, this is everything that is that everything that you own basically in Steam. Your badges, your games, screenshots, everything you've created or you've contributed to that has your name on it is basically in here. Uh, that includes groups you've created, you've joined, and some of your friends. Uh, the way you set this all up is you go to click Edit Profile. You've got your uh, basic name and contact information at the very top. Uh, the next is a custom URL. This is just a really handy URL that you can create to copy and paste and hand off to people, put on a business card, whatever. Below that, you have your avatar. You can uh, click a file and upload it, and the avatar will automatically resize to the various sizes that Steam uses throughout the, um, throughout the ecosystem here. Um, if you don't want to upload a, pic a picture, you can actually choose one from the official game avatars, and there are thousands of these avatars to choose from. Basically, there's anywhere between 1 to 30 for every single game that Steam has. And so that is a lot. You're bound to find something in here that you want. Um, going back to the profile here, below the avatar, you've got a, a link with your Facebook account. Now, I don't have Facebook myself, but uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can easily click here. Uh, below that, a summary, uh, basically introduce yourself to the world, to all the other Steam gamers out there. Your profile background is a little unique. Um, profile backgrounds that were just introduced recently, and right now, they don't have a whole lot of options. Uh, you, get, you basically have your default blank one, and the only way to get others right now is to participate in special events. I participated in the holiday sale, which is why I have this new background here. But uh, backgrounds are a little rare, and uh, I don't know of any other way to get them besides sales. And that's going to change in the future, though. Uh, below that, you've got a featured badge. Badges are a way, once again, of showing off your coolness in Steam. Basically, whenever you contribute or, or participate in a holiday sale or any kind of uh, community activity, you get some kind of uh, XP towards a badge. And once you've actually got a badge, that, uh, that levels you up, that increases your XP overall. Um, and you can sport these on your, your profile page, and they're just really cool to, to brag about. The next thing down is your group, your primary group, the group that you want to show off. Uh, right now, I've created a group called Galactic Patrol, and it's my, me, my family, my friends. So I like to highlight that. Below that, this is where you set up that showcase I told you about. Now, the showcase, you can actually pick from dozens of different things to show off. Uh, your workshop items, uh, different uh, screenshots, uh, games, badges, whatever. You can even make your own custom info box to make uh, whatever you want in there. Uh, so once you've made all your changes, you hit Save Changes, and then return to my profile, and you'll see all your changes made. Now, real quick before we leave, I need to make sure that you understand about the settings for securities. When you go back and do Edit Your Profile, you click on My Privacy Settings. My Privacy Settings tells people who can see your stuff and who can comment on your stuff. If you don't want anyone looking at your profile or your comments, you can set that via the, the privacy tabs here. And you can learn, learn more about that on the Steam forums. And that's it. That's the basics of your very first Steam account. There's a lot more to, to this uh, than I can cover right here. So stay tuned for more videos coming from Steam First. Thanks.